Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Physics Radiate. Today we will learn that how we can calculate the percentage crystallinity of a skite and that is important to know that uh, the, uh, the thin film you prepared on a substrate uh, is it crystalline or not. So uh, in this case uh, for example if we are interested in obtaining high quality perovskite thin film so uh, it is very important to know the crystallinity in the formula that is used for the uh, crystallinity of the perovskite that is uh, xc let's say it is represented uh, uh, by xc uh, the subscript is the crystallinity that can be find out uh, by this formula that is uh, the area of the crystallinity peaks under the crystal peaks over here and divided by the total area of the crystalline and the amorphous uh, portion of the uh, thin film. So let's try it how we can do that. For that we need to have the uh, XRD uh, data of our thin film. In this case, uh, this is actually the perovskite thin film which was deposited on the uh, glass substrate. So let's see, we have this data. Over here, sorry. I think, uh, yeah, this one. Okay, uh, this is actually the angle uh, along x axis, and this is the intensity of the peaks. So let's try to drop it uh, over here like this, make it a little bit uh, visible like this. Okay, for example, this is uh, let's say minus 150. And let's say this is uh, 3000. Apply it. Okay. Okay. Let's see uh, how we can do that. Uh, for the first step, we have to follow the analysis. And then we have to go for the peaks and baseline. Then peak analyzer, open the dialog. Okay, uh, we should check that uh, this uh, is on. This is the actually the integrate peaks. Then we have to go for the next. And then we have to define the baseline. Uh, it depends on uh, the baseline is seems very good over here, but however, if you have very lower baseline, so you can uh, use the user defined baseline like here so after that we need to have next okay then for example if you want to define so we should add some uh, points for example over here I add some points like this okay I think this is okay okay like here here by double click each parameter like this okay think over here okay like this so you should take care of each uh, peaks in this case so okay done then we 
need for example if i want to modify it and i just want to take these peaks for example or here this is okay this one is okay the third one is okay okay i just want to make it here just move each points where you want uh, the peaks okay like this i want to move this a little bit near to this one okay this one like here uh, should be near and okay over here you see this one is done now we have to click on next next okay then we need to uh, disable this one and we should uh, add peaks over here which uh, peaks i want to integrate uh, in order to get the area so this one i want this one i want this one this one and for example this one here and let's say over here okay then we have to click on done and next uh, for example if uh, you feel that uh, the area under this peaks is not uh, suitable so you can modify in such a way that for example i should click on adjust on preview and let's say for example uh, i want to make it a little bit like this and over here i want to make it a little bit wider so like this so you can play around like in this way then we need to make it finish okay now uh, as we can see we have some integration of this area okay then go to the book in this uh, as we have uh, integrated so we got this area in the second column we need to copy this copy and put it in the excel file like here okay we should double check it 77 we don't need this one okay this 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 is actually the total area over here uh, you just need to have this sum formula a1 2 a2 2 a10 this column uh, this is not uh, 10 this should be up to but it's okay this is the total area of this uh, of these peaks then we need to go once again draw the graph okay let me do that again so that Okay, draw the graph. Now make it a little bit easier. Uh, it's okay if you don't want to do this, uh, it makes no difference. However, I just want to make it 
clear okay now we go to the for the second step we go again in the same way peaks and baseline uh, peak analyzer open the dialog okay and next integrate the peaks then in the same way next next okay disable this one at the peak for example i want to take the whole uh, area which include high crystal entry and the amorphous uh, structure okay then we have to click on next and adjust on preview okay take the whole area of the thin film in this case so it will take all the uh, crystal and uh, crystallinity and the amorphous uh, phases of the thin film now in the then finish this will calculate the whole area of the uh, film go to the book as here we can see this is actually uh, the total area of the peaks copy it over here just paste it paste it and this will give you uh, the formula uh, that is uh, we have seen before that is ac it means area of the crystalline form and the total area that is uh, actually the, uh, um, uh, the crystalline form and the amorphous form and in this case it will be for example if i want to make it in the percentage so it will it will be around about 25.83 percent this will be in the percentage so in this way you can find out uh, that uh, uh, how much is the crystallinity in, in my sample so here in this example it is 25.83 percent crystalline uh, okay over oh, here yeah, like this now if you want to make it uh, more attractive so just uh, as we did it before make it bold and so on okay like this like this so this is actually a good way to uh, investigate the crystallinity of uh, your thin film and you can uh, define that uh, how much is the crystallinity uh, of this uh, uh, specific substrate uh, specific uh, sample you have prepared uh, thank you so much and please subscribe share and comments uh, if you have any question let me know thank you so much